Uh, my name is Danny Deliberto, founder of Ladles of Love. It was founded back in 2014. Communities we, s we work with are all over the peninsula and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet who just want to be part of the change. And on to race number seven and hopefully things are going according to plan if you are listening into this preview and they're about to race in race number seven. It's over 1400 meters. It's a Phillies and Mares 67 handicap and it's a D division class. All things being equal, the race meeting should be off. The last race should be off at 16.05. So it is an early end to this Easter Monday race meeting at Hollywood Bets Gravel. Let's get straight into it and have a look at these runners. I think we'll give comments on each one of them. Number one, Mission Rocks, Duncan Howells' runner. That post maiden run was disappointing, but draw one. Number two, Fields of Green, Glenn Cotson's runner, a recent maiden winner, uh, a horse that has had the two runs now in the province and is getting to know uh, about the conditions here. But you had to like the way she performed on the poly track for the first time, winning over 1,600 meters when shedding that maiden. Number three, Double Dream, Vaughan Marshall's runner. Well, here's a horse that's uh, coming down slowly in the ratings and offers 67 now. Uh, she is back in the province and we know that uh, she was uh, a winner first time out I think it was winning on debut so we'll see how she goes now that she's back in the province. A very interesting entry here is number four Predators Feast. Yadev Singh and Serena Mudley will team up. They're racing this two-year-old in open company and she'll go to post with uh, 57 kgs on her back. You had to like that post maiden run. I see no problem with the distance of 1400 meters and she's one I'll keep a close eye on. Five bird watcher always gets a mention from, from me. She took a long time to notch up that fought career win, but since then she's had good places. And Malaseda Kachet, he's one from one from her. And you have to compliment the young man the way he won on her four starts back. That was a superb ride. Uh, she was looking to hang around. She was throwing her head about in the closing stages of the race. He managed to straighten her out and she won a really good race. Six puff of smoke, I know was quite defensive by the stable last time out where she didn't run too bad and uh, she's a filly that will always keep you interested because she seldom runs poorly. Seven, give me a lullaby, will go to post with a very low weight. 52 and a half kgs on her back with an informed Cabello Matsunyana for Yogis Governor. Number eight, Ed VJ. Well, I thought she could represent a lot of value last time out and it wasn't to be. She faded tamely in the running. She is better than that form suggests. Don't leave her out of anything. Although she's yet to win on the poly track, she's had 10 starts for six places. I think her consistency on the surface could be rewarded. Nine, Royal Kitty. Now, there's another horse that took forever to notch up uh, her second career win. But since then, she was in excellent form prior to the layoff on the 4th of January. I think she was badly in need of that comeback run. Don't read anything into it. She's far better than that, loves the surface, and I think you'll see a much better run from her. And then 10, shaken, not stirred, will have to overcome the widest of the draws. Seems to run well for young Jason Gates, and on her best form, she will definitely make a presence felt here. Race number seven, you need to be loaded up here. If you're running in the pick six, even the place accumulator, I think you need horses here, but I'm gonna take a big chance and use number five, Bird Watcher, a runner that I know that I'm almost guaranteed of getting a solid run from her as a roving banker and all trifectas and quartets. But I think in the seventh race, any type of result is expected and all the best trying to narrow it down. If you can get through this leg, the last leg of the pick six, the place accumulated jackpot to the last pick three with the minimum spend in race number seven, I think that is an absolute bonus here. And that is a wrap of race number seven. And again, on behalf of the Gallup TV team, myself, Dee Steinan, I wish that you're having a wonderful Easter Monday and you've had a fabulous long weekend and hopefully it can end up on a high at Hollywood Bets Gravel on this Monday where we have seven races on the poly track. And uh, happy Easter to all. 
And until we meet again, you take care. Salani Ashley. Hi, I'm Trevor, the CEO of the same foundation. The donation we received from Interbase helped us in procuring vital life-saving medical equipment and PPE for Tigerberg and Huitiskia hospitals in the Western Cape. Um, this was while the Western Cape was the epicenter of the pandemic. If you would like to get in touch or assist us in these projects, you can get hold of us on our website, which is www.samefoundation.org.za, Facebook and Instagram or LinkedIn.